Last episode the Frankfurt came out, you managed to make the sign of Jonathan David and Andre Silva scored three goals against us as we lost 5-2 to RB Leipzig and Yusuf Mukoko scored a last minute goal to complete a comeback against Bayern and we qualified for the Europa League round of 32 and Jonathan David yes, picked up play at the episode. episode 12 with the Frankfurt came out in today's episode we'll be playing the month of February and March so we do have the Europa League round of 16 against Spartak and hopefully we can get some wins and Fulsburg is a tough game I'm looking to play and yeah so and yeah I forgot about this Leverkusen game let's see if we can get past um, Spartak in the round of 32 I'll see you guys at the game against Fulsburg first game at the episode is going to be against Fulsburg another team uh, in the race for top four I'm um, looking to pick up three points would be nice but it should be a difficult game as we get the first chance of the game here a free kick that was narrowly close but it just goes way just a little bit off the post as they get a good chance here Philip taking a good shot and saved by Kevin trapped there in the corner going out for a corner and from that point on we just we look like the better team and we attacked here uh, so so passes to Lindstrom Lindstrom holding up to Awar and Awar making it Absolute. I thought that was going out for a second, but he finds the top corner. He makes it 1 0 in the 20th minute as we get another good chance at this time. Jonathan David testing out the goalkeeper here. Nice finesse shot, but uh, defended really well there as we get a good chance here. Nice flick from Jasper Lindstrom to find. I don't know who that was. Was it? Was it? Yeah, it was Lindstrom. Um, and then he makes it 2 0. It was Awar to Lindstrom, I should say that. As we make it 3 here in the 56th minute, Hussam Awar again getting his brace. Get on score sheet and he makes it 3 0. And what a game we're having here right before, right after halftime. I mean, as we can see, that unlucky goal here, um, not so good defending, and it falls to uh, Riddler back when he makes it 1 3 1. I mean, um, as we get a good cross in here, uh, Sebastian Sala passing to Lindstrom, Lindstrom finessing there, but it just goes way wide there. Too much power on the shot as they almost get a good goal here. I don't know how they didn't score, but. It just goes wide there, no concentration from the defender, I mean the, the striker there. As Fulsburg while pushing players forward and getting a lot of shots, but that one just goes outside from the captain and will be putting the game to bed as we get the fourth goal here, courtesy of Jonathan David, who has been an absolute GOAT since we signed him, and he makes it 4-1 in the 79th minute to get his first goal I think of the game and we'll get a good chance he should this should have been two goals but it's defended really well there and that's how the game's going to end here we go our next game will be against FC Mines I forgot to uh, turn on my mic again this is like the third time it happens I don't know sometimes I accidentally click the mute button while I'm scrolling so um, I don't even, I don't even remember if we won this game I'm guessing we won but yeah I'll be I, I know I'll bring down um, Philip Kostic as you can see as a minus one sharpness but we'll be quick simming this and what kind of result did we get we lost uh, yeah I remember this is the game we picked up two red cards yeah yeah I was picking up a red card in Jasper Lindstrom I've never seen uh, two red cards in one game I think I was saying something like that but yeah I'm um, unfortunate my mic did cut off but we did get a a nice L to one of our rivals. It's not always good to see. That will slow us down in the top four race. I think this game as well. I forgot to turn on my mic, but we'll be taking on this game uh, against Spartak. Uh, hopefully, we can get a win in the first leg of the Europa League round of 32. I'll be quick simming this and hoping for a win. And we did get a win. Casper Lindstrom has been an unbelievable score there. And also this game as well. One of the games I forgot to. Um, turn on my mic yeah I need to keep my head in the game I keep forgetting to turn on my mic for this live com but yeah I was having an issue um, struggling there at the moment trying to take off the red card player but I don't know if it's just me or the game is glitched but I actually wouldn't be surprised if the game is glitched you know it's made by EA but regardless I did click on auto sim but I remember yeah we did win this game and Jonathan David the brace their scoring and uh, Becker Finn Becker I think it is scored for them to get us a win second leg of the Europa League round of 32 will be against uh, Spartak. Uh, we do have a 5-1 advantage, so I'm not really stretched out. To us. I forgot to take off a lot of key players, but I'm not risking it um, all in this um, Europa League this season. But we do pick up a 3-2 win and 4-1 aggregate. 
and Jan Peter Hager scoring the goal. Alex Benaba there coming on and immediately scoring the goal. It's nice to see. We also we did pick up another back to back uh, red cards. I don't know what's up with the red cards, but yeah. In the round of 16, it looks like we'll be facing OGC Nice, the French side. So I'm looking forward uh, to facing against them. And also Chelsea in the Europa League, AC Milan, Napoli, Bayern. What are Bayern doing? Barcelona and Arsenal, they're all in the Europa League. So I don't know what the hell happened in the Champions League, but there's so many teams in here. Yeah, I don't know why there's so many uh, top teams in the Europa League, but it's going to be a tough one this season. We'll find out, but before that, I'll go ahead and play the game against uh, by Leverkusen. Uh, here we go. Our next game will be a quick sim against by the Bremen. I forgot my mic was um, muted for the last three sim games, so I just noticed that right now. So uh, let's quick sim this game. A win will do us really nicely as we get a 3-1 win. Jonathan David scoring. Jan Peter Hager with a brace there. Great performance from the team. Our next game will be against FC by Leverkusen, who are also pushing for the title, so it should be a good game. As I remember, we beat them like four goals uh, last episode. We were struggling for form, but it should be another nice game here as they get the first chance in the game. A nice here from Kevin Trapp, and talk about this goal from from Kessie also at the box, and goalkeeper can't stop. It was going top corner as we get a good chance here. Nice flick from Jonathan David there, but it's intercepted by the defender there, and they will be. Looking to counter-attack there as, um, what's his name, uh, Florian Verts finds uh, the strike and he takes the shot but is handled by Kevin Trapp there. As they get a good chance here, Florian Verts again taking a shot but is saved by Kevin Trapp. <coughs> and I don't know what happened here, um, terrible goalkeeping from Kevin Trapp here, yeah, that's not something you heard from me but you can see the goal there as we also get a free kick here. Um, I'm testing out this new free kick uh, accuracy, not accuracy was a trick, but it didn't work out as we got a really nice chance here, terrible miss from Jan Peter Haga, but he put too much power there, um, it was nice from defend, nice defending from the defender there to put him off as they got a good chance here, nice shot and a great save there from Kevin Trapp redeeming after that error he had and this time we did have a good chance in the 74th minute I tried cutting back but it's, it's intercepted by the defender there and we're not really having the best of games here as they make it 4 and yeah there's nothing I mean 3 so yeah they're, they're just simply the better team and this time Jan, ha Jan Peter Haga I meant to say we'll get a goal here just purely a consolation goal but you need to do better here against teams like by Leverkusen Another game to get out there will be this game against uh, Bailiefield. Go ahead and quick sim it and see what we get. And we do pick up a loss here. Um, but Jonathan David scores a goal. Here we go. I'm looking forward to this tie. It's going to be against OG Nice at home. Looking forward to picking up uh, three points at home with the home advantage here as we get off the good start here. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that was offside. And that was almost a good chance there, blown away by me as we get a good chance here. This time Nas cross to the middle of the box, but great defending and the rebound falls to Philip Kostic and he makes a 1-0 in the 14th minute to give us a confidence booster. As they get a good chance here, Morales crossing it to um, Bore. I think he was the striker, I think, yeah, and he just goes side netted and he's saved by Kevin Trapp as they get a good chance here. The crossing were not really disappointing in this game, but we just needed someone to head there. As we get a good chance here, nice passing play from us, but it was intercepted there, unfortunately, as we get a good chance here this time. That's Lindstrom with a nice cross, and he, f I mean, I think it was Awad with a nice cross, and he finds Lindstrom, and he makes it 2-0. In the 37th minute, we do make it 3-0, and throwing only Jonathan David, getting on the score sheet, and he makes it 3-0, and his first goal of the Europa League, I believe, or maybe his second, I'm not sure, as we get a good cross here. This cross is so satisfying to watch it back. Philip Kostic finding Jasper Lindstrom, who was a menace this whole series and not really serious the episode he had. Um, I think he's up there with the play at the episode, um, if not for Jonathan David there, as we make it 5 4. And this time, uh, Hassan Awar there, he's been really fantastic since we switched the formation. Um, I think at the game against Wolfsburg, I managed to switch the formation. Hassan Awar has been performing really well as a center mid position, which he usually play, but in FIFA, I tried to convert him to center mid and he takes like 300 weeks, which is something absurd. But we do get a good chance there, but it's saved by the goalkeeper there regardless. We are the better team in this game. The stats can lie, neither can 
the quality of the chances we had lie as we get a good chance i mean i don't know how they didn't score from that close but there's nothing you can say about kevin trap today one of the best goalkeepers and philip costage putting a performance there on the left hand side and um really they're taking advantage of the left hand side it was weak and we do they do get a corner at the end of the Nothing really much there as we defend it there and we looking to pick up an easy uh three point not three points but uh three points regardless. We are against Hertha Berlin. Um we sit in seventh place. I thought it would be in like top six, but um it's only one point between us and Stuttgart, so if we win this game, um I don't know. It could give us confidence I guess, but we'll find out and we do get a draw. Yeah, it's been issue we've been having issues just trying to win for the past few games but okay. I don't know uh quick scene the next leg against uh OGC Nice as we absolutely destroyed them in the first league and we managed to pick up a six one uh, aggregate lead okay we're true to the quarterfinals I believe and Gunduzi scoring the only goal our last game of the episode will be against FC Stuttgart who honestly this season they have been the surprise package they were in the top four for the majority of this game and I feel like it's they're a really underrated team in this um, series so I, I'm not underestimating them as we get a good chance here the first couple like first 20 minutes of the game was not really interesting but they were sitting back and we were just having most of the possession not really getting a good chance as yes, they get a good cross in there from Sosa the Croatian no one in the middle to really benefit from it until in the 42nd minute we get our deadlock here and we break it regardless Jonathan Davis makes it 1-0 right before halftime as we managed to get another good chance after halftime great cross Philip Kosti to Jasper Lins from there he should have gone with his um, leg there but going with the header and he's saved by uh, Florian Muller there as we managed to get another good chance this time Jonathan David, this guy is an absolute beast. I just flicked and then he just hit it first time there at bottom corner. Goalkeeper had no chance of saving it, has immediately gets another good chance there. Unluckily, the shot didn't have a lot of curve there, but regardless, it does go out for um, a goal there. So we managed to get another good chance here. What an acrobatic kick from Jonathan David at the back post there. Um, managed to hold on to possession after that, but nothing really interesting to show you guys as we can see the goal here. And typical fashion of defending is terrible. Um, that's something I've noticed throughout the season. We can't really hold on to lead or we can't defend or keep a clean sheet. I know keeping clean sheet is hard in FIFA, but this year is even more harder. But at least I have to try my best. But next few episodes, I'll try to keep some clean sheet. As that's how the game's going to end. Jonathan David, I thought he had a great episode, especially scoring that hat trick against, I can't remember the team, but I know he scored like two, two, three goals. But yeah, um, I mean, three brace yeah three braces i don't know what i'm saying but he picked up play at the episode didn't humiliate this fan to the episode make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next episode